If you wanted a Chinese, you should have said. I said, but that is what I said. You just weren't listening to me. And, and that is what's so annoying about him. He never listens. And then he stormed out. I mean, by that time, I'd made myself a sandwich because I was hired to know he'd gone and got a Chinese. Oh, no. So I said to him, well, I'll have it for breakfast. He said, well, you can't have Chinese for breakfast. I said, since when? He made you go to breakfast. You didn't split up over a takeaway, though. No, it was everything. We argue all the time. And I said to him, Danny, you do realise we row about literally everything? Then we'd row about that, because did we never? Yeah, the thing is, Zoe, sometimes when people are in oh. a relay... <gasps> oh, it's Becky. Oh, she dyed her hair. No, she got an interview on Monday. Well, anyway, I just can't go back there. I need my own space. Be right if I stayed. Of course you can. Of course. Oh, thank you. Oh, don't get me wrong. He's a nice lad. I'm just saying he gets in a lot of trouble. Mum, why are you even talking about him? I'm just saying beware. Beware of what? Well, I've just split up with Danny. I'm not looking to go out with anyone else. Who's that? Bronson. He talked to you. Right, what's that Bronson done? No, Grandad, it's not Bronson. It's Danny. He sent me this really nice message. And he says that he's sorry and that he misses me. And he wants us to get back together. Well, he's a good lad, Danny. I've always liked him. I'm going to head back to Leeds. Oh, love. Come here. Oh. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. <laughs> Have you told Bronson? Yeah, yeah. He's fine about it. We're just mates. Package that you sent to my mum's work. How could you? Package? You sent a package to my mum's work and you know full well what was in it. No, I don't. So what do you know? Look, my stepmum's forever on the internet causing trouble. Is your mum local? She might be. Well, Council Metcalf rings a bell. So where is she? She's not well, she's at the clinic. Look, I will take care of it. How? I will talk to her. Well, she's gone. She's been saying how bad she feels about what she did to your mum and how she needs to make it right. we yapping on about karma and all sorts. Yeah, but mum's just getting better. If she only tells her the truth now, it'll just wreck her head. Look, when she gets like this, she can be dead unpredictable. You're off to France. Bye, B.Y. For how long? No offence, but what is it to you? Because she's staying in my house. I thought it was Sally's. What, that stuck-up bitch that's just sorted somewhere for the better of you to live? The one who's gonna look after Gina from now on? Well, it's about time. What? Well, who's the one who's been looking after her for God knows how long? Me? On my own. So, yeah, it is about time that Sally pulled away. She, she told Sally that it was her. What? And you knew, didn't you? I brought you up as my own. I've got so much to be grateful for. If you want to go your own way, I can't stop you. Let's not part like this. This is your doing, not mine. I just hope you don't live to regret it. Well, why would I do that? That stuck-up car might be here now. But she won't before. She'll let you down. <sighs> No. The best part of Hiddleston is his abs. Not bad. Pretty pedestrian. Yeah, what? Well, he's got the class to go with it. Oh, so that's the secret then. He should be a nice guy and never leave the gym. Well, yeah, pretty much. Oh, I'm free tomorrow. About seven if you want to go to cinema. I don't care what we watch. I'm absolutely in the gym. Oh, really? Ah, oh, sure, I can find time. <laughs>